Here is how I cold call 10,000 people per day. How is this even possible? I used to be a full-time cold caller and it sucked and I hated my life. In an eight hour period, I could get about 300 cold calls done. And it's pretty brutal because you have 300 people that you're calling that don't want to hear your voice. So I thought, how can I automate this? But in a way that seems completely natural and human, because the goal with all automations is to use the robots, but look human. So then I found voicemail drops. Voicemail drops basically call your prospect and then hang up and then call back right directly after. What this is doing is it tricks the carrier into thinking that the phone line is busy and so it sends it directly to the voicemail. Now I've been using this strategy for a while and I made a video on it. I had a viewer reach out to me and say that he tried this strategy and closed two deals in a very, very saturated niche by doing this strategy. And by saturated, I mean med spa. So he sent 10,000 voicemail drops to his niche, got two closed deals and a ton of other leads from it so far. Now that might seem like a low conversion, but he was using pretty low quality data. He was scraping Google to get the phone numbers. What you wanna do is you wanna scrape from LinkedIn or from Ninja Leads is another tool that I like to use. Those get you pretty high quality phone numbers of business owners that own the companies that you wanna reach out to. But anyways, here's the tutorial on exactly how he did it. To set this up, how it works, and what to expect when you're actually doing uh, this outreach. So we're gonna get right into it. What you're gonna need is two different tools. One is Go High Level. Now that's just what I'm using to send out the voicemail drops. You can use whatever you want. Let's get set up first by creating the voicemail. So what you'll need is a tool called Audacity. So I have it on here. Uh, it's a free app that now you can use whatever you want. So you just need some, some way to record your voice. You can record it from your phone and then send it your, to your computer. That works too. But I have a pretty nice microphone here and I just wanted something easy to record my voice. So here we go. Uh, you can also use like, you can use, you can record a video if you want, you don't have to give this app, right? You can just record a video and then uh, upload it to uh, to a, a service to do video to MP3 or something like that. Uh, so record it on your computer, uh, whatever you wanna do. But I like this because I can actually do a little bit of uh, editing to it just to make it like louder. You know, it's pretty easy to use. So here you go, you just select the microphone you wanna use and then start recording. Hey, I just wanna see if you're interested in getting 40 appointments per month for with your agency. Uh, what I do is I help people set up automations and blah, 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 blah. Let me know if you're free to chat sometime this week. Uh, if you can text me back or call me back, that'd be great. Cool. You stop that recording. Now, uh, this here, it peaked pretty quickly. So I'm going to select from here to the end. And as you can see, it's very quiet, I guess. So what you can do is click analyze or effects and then amplify. And then it's gonna automatically detect how much it needs to amplify by, uh, by making sure that it doesn't clip. So clipping means like, like going over. Uh, to where it's hard to hear, you know, boom. So automatically does it for you to where it amplifies everything else. Now, the thing is, is if we, if we, the reason I, if I go back here, if I selected this whole thing, it's already clipping at this point, right? It's already up to the max. So if I click analyze, or I'm sorry, effects amplify, it's going to say uh, increase by 0 0.89 because uh, it, it detects that this is already here and uh, it's already clipping. So uh, we basically select from here to here you might not run into this problem. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, effects, amplify, boom. So now it's like seven. So amplify by seven because whatever the highest peak is, which is probably this one right here, uh, whatever the highest peak is, is going to bring that up to the top. So uh, 0 .0 uh, decimals. So that, uh, um, you know, cool. I just want to see if you're interested in getting 40 points per month with your agency. Uh, what I do is I help people set up automation. So it's louder. It's, uh, and so whoever's listening on the other end will be able to hear it better. Cool. File. Export, export as MP3, and then you can save it to wherever you want. I like saving things to my download folder just because it's easier to know where it's at. Save it, whatever you want to call it. So I'll just call this test as the video test. Save, boom. It's going to bring up this little thing. I click OK, and then we're good to go. So I'm going to exit out of this. I don't like saving projects because I don't really need it. Go in here, and as you can see, it came up in here, voicemail, 915 test. It's already September, guys. Hey, I just want to see if you're interested in getting 40 appointments. Uh, my camera just keeps glitching out on me. I'm sorry for that. Come month free with your agency. So this is good. It's working. It's fine. Now we're going to create a workflow through Go High Level to uh, be able to listen to it. Upload to workflow. All right, cool. So all we got to do is go to automations. Go to, we're going to create, there's campaigns and workflows. I usually recommend people to use campaigns because it gives you a little more data. But in this case, the campaigns, it just takes longer. Like I try to do a campaign to myself. It didn't call me for like 10 minutes. And then when I did it on a workflow, I did it instantly. So uh, we're gonna do it through workflow because it just works better. You can create a new campaign. You wanna click start from scratch. Create workflow. I'm sorry, create workflow, I'm sorry. Uh, all right, voicemail 
drop, and you can call it, I don't know, whatever your offer is that you set in the voicemail, just so that you know like what is what. You don't really need a trigger for this, so you don't need to set that to anything. You just wanna add your first action, and the first action being a voicemail. And then we can upload file, voicemail, boom. Good to go, save action. Now, maybe if you do want to do this as a part of some sort of campaign, so whenever somebody opts in, it sends them a voicemail, you can add the trigger as, okay, anyone that fills out this certain form or anyone that books an appointment with me, you know, whatever you wanna do. But for now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just add the context directly into this workflow, and then it's just gonna run through them. So that's basically it. That's all you had to do uh, is upload it to the workflow, and then you can add extra elements to the workflow. Oh, my face, dude, I hate this camera thing. Uh, you can add extra elements to the workflow like being able to send a text directly after the voicemail is sent. So I'm gonna create a wait timer of like two minutes, save action, and then do uh, send SMS. And then we can say, hey, just try to call, let me know when you're free to chat. Save action, right? So in that way, that looked really human, right? Cause it's like, hey, I just try to call you you know, and so the whole goal with all this stuff is to look as human as possible. And uh, so there we go. We just create, and you don't have to do that, but you know, it's something you can do. I heard other people that do like literally seven voicemails within one campaign. So you can do wait another day, one uh, days, boom. And then send another voicemail and then upload your second file. Like, hey, I tried to call yesterday, blah, 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 blah. And you keep doing it and doing it and doing it until I call back. Now, if you're doing something like this to where it's a little more advanced campaign, you wanna make sure that you go into here, into settings, and go into uh, stop on response. So whenever they call you back, it's not gonna keep sending voicemails to them. And then whenever they text you back, it's not gonna keep sending voicemails to them. Also, you want to make sure that allow multiple is off. If allow multiple is on, that means you can add a context to a campaign multiple times. And that is not very ideal because let's say that you send a voicemail to somebody, they said, hey, I'm not interested, okay, great, and then you accidentally add them to the campaign again, and then they're getting the messages again, you don't want that, right? So uh, allow multiple off just for that purpose. Now I'm gonna turn it on just because I wanna test it on myself. So when you're testing it on yourself, you wanna turn it on just because uh, if you put yourself in the campaign and let's say something was wrong, something didn't work, and then you try to put yourself to the campaign again, it's not gonna let you put yourself to the campaign again because allow multiple is off. Hopefully that makes sense, right? We're gonna put it on for now just to test and then once we're ready to actually send, we'll turn it off. All right, boom. Back to workflow, and then we'll go and send out as drip mode. All right, so we're gonna test it out first, and then we're gonna send it out as a drip mode, uh, in drip mode to our contacts to, can you please keep up camera? Um, <laughs> it's not even, all right. So we're gonna go to conversations, see if I can find recents. I don't think I'm in here. As you can see, we have people we were sending out to. I'm gonna just find myself here. I'm gonna to go to contacts. We've got two phones here, so I'm gonna try to find 937, All right, here we go. And uh, I'm gonna just click on my contact to test myself out. And boom, general, I'm sorry, contact. You can scroll down, active campaigns. What was this one called? It's called voicemail something. Voicemail test, voicemail, okay, I think we call it voicemail drop. And we don't need to select the time, add, and then we're gonna get added to the campaign. Now I'm going to hopefully, my camera will stop lagging out on me. We're gonna boom, as you can see, calls me, and then ends the call. And then it's a couple seconds later, you know, I, the voicemail was maybe 15 seconds long, so we'll wait about that long until uh, it'll actually come through as a voicemail to us. And what's cool is I have uh, Metro PCS on this phone, and it transcribed the message and sent it to me as a text message, which I thought that was pretty cool. It gives me a leg up because if, I don't know if this is for every carrier, probably not, but for Metro, apparently it is. Um, but transcribed it as a text to me. So it says, uh, new message. Hey, what's up? This is Carson. And it spells Carson, C-A-R-S-O-N. I just found a company online that I'd reach out. I can help you uh, get, I can help your marketing agency get 40 appointments per month. With companies that need your marketing help, if you're interested, let me know. I can give me a call back in the number. And this is, uh, so yeah, cool. Let me know. Talk soon. Um, so it did that for me, sent me a text, and I thought that was pretty cool. As you can see, we just got the other voicemail that just came in. Boom, right there. We'll see it. It's going to transcribe it. Hey, I just want to see if you're interested in getting 40 points per month with your agency. Uh, what I do is I help people set up automations and blah, 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 blah. Let me know if you're free to chat sometime this week. Uh, if you can text me back or call me back, that'd be great. Cool. cool. And also, it sent me a text, right? So saying, 
hey, I just want to see if you're blah, 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 if you're interested um, or if you're able to get my call. And so we're going to get that text coming through in about two minutes based on our campaign that we just created. So you might want to turn it to one minute or even a no delay just because, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just put it to two minutes. So what you want to do when you do this is you want to uh, get your contact list and then upload them into here. So the same that you would do it with an SMS campaign, you would just uh, get your lead list of, let's say, all the business owners you want to reach out to with their phone numbers and emails and whatever, and then upload it to go high level. Now, I'm just going to use this as an example. Here we go. I uh, just got the text. Boop. Uh, hey, just try to call. Let me know if you're free to chat. So looks pretty hooping. human. Also, it automatically, you know how it says, like, it says maybe Carson at the top. Boom. I don't know if you can say it. Yeah, maybe Carson. And that's pretty cool because our, we set our name in the voicemail, so it detected our name. And so now it's saying, hey, it's maybe that person. Now, that probably only works for iPhone. I'm not sure. But pretty cool. This is a tool that I'm using currently to get lead lists. I somewhat recommend it. It's pretty good um, depending on who you're targeting. So upload marketing agencies, export to CSV, boom. So we have phone numbers and emails of these guys in here. Go to our contacts here, upload, uh, get this file, upload it there. And dude, I'm just gonna make my face smaller. Maybe that'll help. Um, Full name, first name, last name, email. We want to make sure that we match any of the uh, of the fields together. So company name, we want to make sure that's in there. So we're going to look for company, company name, boom. Uh, company website, we're going to website, boom. Job title, we don't need that. C country, country, is that in there? Yeah, okay, country. Don't really need that, but location. So we'll put this as city. And then we have a uh, LinkedIn URL. I want to put the LinkedIn URL in there. So I'm just going to... We're just gonna remove my face. All right. <laughs> um, uh, we want to do LinkedIn URL. I'm gonna put address. Um, just because now you can use a custom field if you want to create your own custom fields, but uh, I'm just gonna put it in as address because I want to be able to see their LinkedIn profile as well. Just in case, let's say they call me and then I'm able to look at their LinkedIn profile as we're on the phone, stuff like that. And then phone numbers right here. You want to make sure that you sign that because obviously we can't do anything without the phone numbers. So sign the phone numbers. Facebook, Twitter. We don't really need that. So I'm gonna. Uh, don't import unmatched data. Next, advanced. I like to import it by phone number. or So we're going to look at basically all the current contacts and see if any of the phone numbers are the same. If any of the phone numbers are the same, we're not going to create multiple of the same contact. So it's not going to create duplicates. And then I'm going to add some tags. I'm going to add, uh, depending on who they are, so I, I have a digital marketer. So um, I, that's just to tell me what audience they're from. So these are all digital marketing agencies. And then I have, let's, or if, you know, CrossFit gyms or landscapers, whatever, you know, that's just what I do. And uh, I'm going to also add a thing, voicemails, just because I know this is going to be coming into a voicemail campaign. And then you can add, uh, what I also like to add usually is where the, where it came from. So this came from Artemis. I don't have it in here yet, but uh, just where the lead list came from, just so I know um, what's working and what's not working. So let's just say Artemis isn't giving me good results. So let me try some other tool because, you know, whatever. So just anything that I can use to identify where these this audience came from or who they are, uh, I like to use those and create tags for all that. So anyways, that's it. And we're going to click submit. No, I'm not going to do that right now just because we're doing a test. And then what you'll do is you'll click filters uh, and then you can find the ones that were created today. So you look up created and you'll, the date range, the date range is today from today, right? So these are all the ones that were created today. So we created a total of 170 contacts today. Now, um, that's one way you can look for these contacts and then you have all these contacts in here, or you can also do, let's say you added multiple contacts in here today, uh, for several different campaigns. So we have created, we're going to apply that filter, but also we want to add a tag filter. So we want only the people with the tag voicemails, boom, apply. So now we have people that were created today and have the tag voicemails, nobody else. All right. Cause I mean, I have contacts in here that were, you know, cause I have inbound leads that come in, as you can see, 166 people are in here. But if I remove this, it's 170 people because I, you know, four people came inbound and they probably opted into my course or something. So I want to make sure we add multiple tags or multiple filters here so that we're getting the right people. All right. So, uh, we'll do create it again. I'm oh, sorry. Tag again. And there we go. Voicemails apply. And then we can add it in as a drip mode. So you want to click add to campaign workflow. We're going to click okay, proceed. We're going to look up our campaign here, voicemail drop, and then we're going to add in drip mode. So the reason we're adding in drip mode is because if you're sending it all at once, 
The problem is, is that uh, you'll get a whole bunch of calls really quickly. So you'll just get like 10 people calling you at the same time, which you can't pick up all the calls. And when you're doing that, they're not going to call you back again. So you're not going to like, I've texted, I had several people that called me back and when several people call me back at once, I can only pick up one phone, one call at a time. So uh, when that happened, I basically, you know, I had to text everybody else back that called me, but they don't text you back. So it's either you pick up the phone or you're not going to be able to contact them. So we want to add it in a drip mode so that we're not, a drip mode is basically saying, okay, we want to do one every, one person every one minute, or let's say five people every one minute, so that we're not getting a ton of uh, callbacks quickly at the same time. Uh, we're kind of spreading it out over time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say voicemail. I like to say the audience that I'm doing it to. So this is marketing and then also the date range. So let's just say we're going to do it from today till tomorrow. So 9, 15 to uh, 9, 16. We're going to start on today at around 15 minutes from now. Or let's just say we're going to start at noon. Boom. And batch quantity. For voicemails, not as many people are going to reply, uh, depending on what you're doing. So if you if you add the text as a follow up, if you do multiple voicemails in a single campaign, then you're probably going to get more replies, obviously, because the more you follow up, the more people are going to reply to you. But uh, let's just say for this one voicemail drop campaign, not too many people are going to reply. So what I like to do is I'll just do every five every one minute. So five people every one minute. The thing is, we didn't verify these numbers. Um, we don't know if they're mobile numbers. Um, so it's like, usually what I'll do like for an SMS campaign, I'll do like one every one minute. Uh, but in this case, we're gonna get less replies than usually than a, uh, what's it called? An SMS campaign. So we're just gonna do more per minute. So start from noon. Hopefully this makes sense, guys. Sorry if it doesn't. Uh, noon to let's say 2 p.m. All right, so if we're doing, I'm gonna bring out a calculator out here real quick. Five every one minute for two hours, that's 120 minutes times five, that's 600 contacts that we can reach out to today within that time frame. Uh, and maybe we'll, maybe we'll just bring this down to two every one minute. So that's 240 contacts. So, uh, and I know we only have like 160 contacts in here. So we're just gonna spread it out over the course of two hours just in case, um, you know, we, don't, we just don't want a whole bunch of replies coming in very quickly, you know, because we won't be able to pick up all the calls at the same time. So. It's better just to spread it out like that and then you just click add to campaign and then they're added to the campaign it's ready to go okay so there's something that you need to understand about these voicemails and it's that most people don't even listen to the voicemail okay so when you're getting callbacks they're usually going to say you can say hey did you get my voicemail and they'll say no i just saw that you called and i just wanted to call you back as quickly as i could so say okay great and then you have to go into your pitch so you basically just have to reiterate what you said in the voicemail hey i just help marketing agencies get 40 points per month on autopilot i just want to see if you're interested uh, and then they, they go into whatever, or I help landscaping companies reach 75% of their city without using paid ads. Okay, great. I help real estate market, you know, whatever, whatever your, your offer is, you just go into your offer on the call. And, uh, now obviously you can't be one. These are just people. Don't be afraid to pick up the phone because they're just calling you and they're people. So it doesn't really matter. And, uh, you have plenty of opportunities. So you, the more you send these out, the better. Um, but so when, you pick up the phone, they probably did not listen to your voicemail and they're just calling you back based on what you, the, the fact that you called them. And so they just want to call you back because they think that it's a lead. Now, uh, what's, it might seem like a downfall because they're not even listening to your message and then you're, just, you're just, it's basically a cold call, but it's a little different than a cold call because when they're calling you, they can't say to you, oh yeah, I don't have the time because they just called you, right? So they called you, so they have the time. So you, you get to be in a little bit more of an authority position because they called you rather than you calling them. Now you did call them, but they're calling you back and uh, returning your call. And so you have the leverage to actually like give your spiel out and they kind of are there to listen because they called you back, you know? So it's a pretty unique strategy. So it's like, it doesn't work as intended because they're not listening to the voicemails, but it works, it still works because you're getting in front of people that are, um, that are in your target market and that are willing to listen to whatever your offer is. So it's pretty cool. Um, so. As you saw at the beginning, I, it was, I sent this out to a couple people this morning, got a books call for next Friday, and you know, it worked pretty well. So um, it's pretty easy to do, as you saw by the, you know, creating a campaign is really easy. You want to have, obviously, a voice recording, use Go High Level, you also need Twilio to um, send out the voicemails through Twilio. It's not too expensive. I'm not, sure, I'm not honestly sure how much it costs per voicemail drop, but it can't be 
too crazy. So anyways, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any questions, just let me know and I'll talk to you soon.